is not very much. That could get eaten up in a second. So the first step, I think, for you is to set a realistic budget. And in accepting that realistic budget, it makes you have to accept and understand exactly what your finances are. And then keep track of what you're spending. And you need to make sure that it, it is as easy for you to track your money as it is for you to spend your money, because most of us know how easy it is <laughs> to spend, right? Mm -hmm. So we at Green Dot have a mobile application that can really help you to keep track of your finances on the go so that you can always see what your balance is and know exactly what kind of decisions you should make. Okay. So what's the next step for Carrie? Well, the next step for Carrie and it's very unfortunate, but it's one that we all have to make from time to time. And that is that we have to cut back. And I know it doesn't seem like you have very much wiggle room in your finances, right. but every time I look at a spending plan or look at a budget, there's always room that we can, that a decision can be made in order to cut back on spending. Because if you don't do that, then you're really not going to improve your situation. Okay. So let's take a look at your budget again. In looking at this budget, one of the areas where I think that you can cut back is cable and cutting the phone. Not cutting the phone off, but getting a different plan. Okay. And just between those, those two items, then you're able to save $178. Wow. And that's $178 that could be used in one other area that's important. Okay, that's great. Right. right. That's just two areas. Yeah. Right. Okay. What's the next tip for her? The next tip is allocating your tax refund. And what's so interesting is that most people have it spent long before they receive oh, it. Oh, yeah. So. I, I did it. <laughs> I did, too. Oh, oh, as soon as I found out what it was, it was spent. <laughs> it was already spent. I already saw it. Absolutely. And it's a windfall that we just don't get that often. So it's that much more important for us to use it as a life raft. So it's important to really plan how you're going to use it and to spend it wisely. Okay. Now, we at Green Dot, we can automatically have you deposit that check to a Green Dot prepaid Visa card. Oh. You can use that money to spend it, or you can use that money to also keep track of how you're spending the money. And once you're able to really see where your money is going, then you'll be able to spend it much more conscientiously. Okay. And then the, the, the final step. Well, for Carrie, the final tip is her credit is in bad shape right now, which is not surprising given the circumstances that she's had to go through. And it's not her fault. But it is important to rebuild your credit. And the thing that I always like to say about credit is credit is not a bad thing. It's the abuse of credit that's the problem. <laughs> and so if you keep your balances low, and especially if you make those payments on time, then you'll be able to improve your credit. and. I am here to assist you. I'm going to counsel you. I'm going to hold your hand. Really? After this, I am going to yeah. be your accountability partner Yay! and work with you. Now, we got a little something more. Our friends at Green Dot want to help you to get started with your financial recovery. They're going to give you $5,000. <gasps> on a Green Dot Reloadable prepaid card. <laughs> Don't forget the Green Dot card allows you to shop everywhere. Visa debit cards are accepted in the U.S. For more information on Green Dot, you can go to steveharvey.com. There you go. We'll be right